uh, for Mr. Elmer, and I'm not quite sure if I understood in the testimony, this bill would have some kind of long-term long impact on our, our out-year debt service. Y yes. Could you, and could you kind of give me a view on that? Yes, that's, that's an important point. Both on the DOT side and on the RIFTA side, uh, a lot of money comes from federal funds. Those federal funds require a 20% state match. Up until now, the state has been uh, issuing biennial bonds for that 20% match. And in 2011 will be the first year that uh, the proceeds of the gasoline tax over at DOT will actually go, the Representative Handy was, ref was alluding to this, more than, in 2011 for the first time, more than half, more than half of the gasoline tax proceeds at DOT will be going not to the federal match, but simply to debt service. Rhode Island has been raising that 20% match for RIPTA and for DOT from bonds. Bonds have to be repaid with interest. That puts a tremendous burden on the people of Rhode Island, paying money for debt service. What this bill begins to do, it doesn't get us all the way there, but it begins a pay-as-you-go so that we have uh, current monies for debt service for, for, for the 20% match and don't have to look to bonding. Two changes in the Obama administration that are worth mentioning here because they affect this. When you look again uh, uh, at John Paul's slides from March 10th, DOT is looking to get more money for road and bridge maintenance from uh, ARA, from federal ARA funding. Uh, uh, and the Obama administration is also uh, looking in the transportation reauthorization of shifting uh, money from roads to public transit. All of that, the increased ARA money, money, the increased transit money, all of that will require the 20% match. If we keep bonding for that 20% match, we are saddling ourselves and our children with more and more financial obligation for debt service. This is an attempt to address that. Costs the people of Rhode Island less going forward in the long term. Thank you, Mr. Elmer. Are there any questions of the committee for the panelists? Representative Almeida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Elmer? Yes. Any particular reason why DOT gets 50%? Is there a mathematical reason? Th th there's not a mathematical reason, and in fact, those are percentages that can be adjusted. DOT's shortfall in bringing existing infrastructure up to safety standards runs about $300 million a year for the next 10 years. That's a total of $3 billion, billion with a B. RIPTA's annual budget runs about $100 million. I think it was $99 million this fiscal year. DOT is a bigger agency. In fact, uh, these figures are about roughly proportional. It'll help DOT in proportion to its overall budget. It'll help RIPTA in proportion to its overall budget. But you're absolutely right. There's nothing magic about those percentages, and they can be adjusted. A little while ago, I think about three weeks ago, Transportation Committee, we went to uh, Ripta. And uh, the general manager, Al Muscola, does a good job over there. He's got like, he's got this crystal ball that you can see through it. No fog, you can get there, okay? I wish so, I had one like that, huh? <laughs> and the guy definitely deserves some sort of support. But anyway, and they do some magical work over there with the mechanics and, and, and the drivers and the staff. So I'm looking at your numbers, I'm figuring, well, let's give him 40%, but like you said, it's not in stone. The, the question that I have, um, and I think, I think you all answered it a little while ago, it, I think when you first started off, you said there's more people going on the bus, but from what I'm understanding, if there's more people on the bus, we're getting less, less gas tax. Well, don't worry, I, I drive a gas guzzler, so I'm paying my fair share. But the fact is, is that the way these numbers are going, and where we're going to put this money into the Transportation Trust Fund, are we going to be back again to try to fit? Because now you have all these uh, electric cars, 
and what have you, you know. So what will happen to that in those numbers? Representative, I don't want to evade your question, but with your right. permission, if we defer it for a few minutes, a bill later on today before this committee, 7845, addresses that exact uh, question, and if you don't mind, let, let's come back to that question on that bill. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I know Gus Silver does runs electric cars, but we're okay with that. We'll, we can wait. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Almeida. Are there any other questions from the committee? Thank you. Uh,